This conference will now be recorded. God bless you this morning, and we greet you this day in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come to give God honor. We come to give God praise. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. The psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be made glad. Uh, the psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gate, O Jerusalem. O God, we come to give you glory today. We come to give you honor today. O God, we come to say hallelujah. Just to give you the highest praise. This is a special day. This is an anointed day. This is a Holy Ghost filled day, amen, on the day of Pentecost, amen. When the Holy Ghost, amen, came down as a mighty rushing wind and filled all those that was in the house. Today, we come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, hallelujah. Come on, give God praise today. He is worthy of our praises, amen. All night and all day, angels have watched over us, amen. We got a reason to praise God. We woke up this morning, closed in our right mind. You got a reason to praise the Lord. You're yet here in the land of the dying on your way to the living. You're, you got a reason to praise God, amen. You're on the line this morning, amen. You have some means of communication. You got a reason to praise God, amen. You fed yourself, amen. You bathed yourself. You got a reason to praise God. You didn't have to sleep on the subway last night or you didn't have to be down in the Bowery. You got a reason to praise God, even if you have to stay in a shelter, that's just provision that God will provide that you'll have a home one day. You got a reason to praise God, I tell you. And if there's any day that we're gonna praise God, it's gonna be on the Lord's day. Come on church, let's get, can I get a witness, amen. John said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. If there's any day of the week, amen, that we just want to honor God and recognize God and show appreciation to God and we want to praise God, it ought to be on the Lord's day, amen, the first day of the week, amen. In all thy ways, what, acknowledge him the first day of the week. And God, we just come to tell you, thank you, amen. What a mighty God we serve, amen, amen. The, the psalmist said, amen. We, oh God, we, the psalmist said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, for it is he that made us and not we are. So we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and, and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. That's why we gathered here today, not for form of fashion, but we just come to worship God for who he is and praise him for all that he's done. Amen. We greet you this morning with Jesus' joy. So glad I'm here. Oh, I'm so glad I'm here. So glad I'm here. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Yes, I'm so glad I'm here. So glad I'm here. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. What you gonna do? Somebody say they're gonna praise while you're here. Somebody else says, I'm gonna sing while I'm here. Somebody else say, I'm gonna praise. I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna worship while I'm here in Jesus' name. God bless you. We greet you. Amen. Once again, we give honor to the Spirit of Christ, who's the head of my life, the head of my house, to all the clergy that may be on the line. We honor you. Amen. Minister Patricia Graham, Minister Julia Hayes, Evangelist Cooper, and to all clergy that may worship with us this morning. God bless you. To our officers, our chairman, Deacon Frank Bryan, all of the deacons. Amen. Our deaconess, Rosa Bryan, all the deaconesses, our trustees. Amen. Chairman Jake McIver, all our trustees, stewards of the Lord's house, amen. To our mother's ministry, God bless you, all our spiritual mothers and our spiritual fathers, amen. God bless you to all the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
who worship at Greater Central Baptist Church. Amen to all our visitors and our friends. Amen. And yet, and to those who are yet between two opinions, God bless you. Amen. And good morning. Amen. Good morning. We want to have a glorious time today. Amen. 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 Someone might need to be brought out of darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. We have a beautiful order of worship before you this morning. And we just going to just keep moving. Amen. When you hear your name called, just do what the Lord say do. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do what the Lord say do. Amen. We're going to have the our scripture reading. Amen. By our sister Harriet Williams. Amen. She's going to come and bless us with the reading of the word of God. And then we're going to have our congregational hymn by our sister May Revel. Uh, yes, Jesus loves me. Amen. Then we're going to be led in prayer by our own minister, Patricia Graham. And afterwards, we're going to have a selection by Brother Christopher Campbell in that order. Amen. Let the Lord use you to his glory. Sister Harriet, in your care. Good morning, everyone. Give an honor to the head of my life, Jesus Christ. And to God the Father, I thank you this morning that you touched me and allowed me to see another day. I love you today. I love you always. Amen. I'm going to be reading um, scripture from Isaiah 55, 6 through 11. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my way, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may get that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. Um, I pray that this scripture will be an inspiration to someone. And forgive me, I forgot to say to our pastor, Frank Hawkins, Minister Graham, Minister Hayes, um, Chairman Deacon Bryan, um, President of the Deaconesses, Rosa Bryan, to all Deaconesses, Deacon Cooper, Deacon McIver, Deacon Walters, to the motherboard, and to the trustees. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Harriet. We're going to have our congregation of him now by our sister, May Revell, Minister of our Music Department. Minister of Music. Sister May. Jesus, this I know. my me Jesus 
Amen. Father God. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. For God, you told us so in your word. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God. Oh, God, for another day. We thank you for another Sunday, God. But not just as a Sunday, any Sunday, God. But it's a Pentecost Sunday, oh God. And we worship you today because we realize, oh God, that it's 50 days, oh God, after your crucifixion, oh God, your resurrection, oh God, your, first of all, your ascension, God, oh God, after your, your crucifixion and, and then it's your resurrection, Jesus, oh God, that we celebrate today, oh God, oh God, that you pour down your Holy Spirit on your apostles and your disciples, oh God, on this Pentecostal Sunday, oh God, so they were anointed with the Holy Spirit. Spirit and, and they were on one accord, oh God. Uh, oh God, and they were able to speak in tongues, oh God. Uh, oh God, and they were filled, oh God. Uh, oh God, with the empowerment of your Holy Ghost. Uh, thank you, Father. Oh God, the Holy Ghost that's able to heal us, oh God. Uh, that's able to deliver us, oh God. Uh, that's able to set us free and break every chain, oh God, that has us bound down, oh God. Uh, we realize that this is the day, oh God, uh, that you have made and asked us to reflect upon. Hallelujah, oh God. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, we thank you for this service. We thank you for our under shepherd, oh God, for our pastor, oh God, Reverend Hawkins, oh God, continue to anoint him from his head to his toe. Oh God, bless his children and his family, God. Oh God, bless, oh God, every a clergy on the line today, God, one by one, name by name, God, every officer, every deacon, oh God, every trusty Lord, every deacon, so God, oh God, bless every disciple, every mother, God, every usher, God, oh God, your house is building in order, oh God, every nurse, God, every choir, God, every little youth, God, choir, Jesus, every child of God, oh God, we ask you to, oh God, anoint us into this Pentecostal Sunday, oh God, oh God, so we'll be obedient unto you, Jesus, oh God, bless the Christian education, the director and the superintendent, God, and every teacher and an instructor, oh God, for you're giving us all assignments, oh God, and we want to be on our post, oh God, don't let us faint or fail, oh God, let us do your will, oh God, and draw closer to you, Jesus, so you can use us in a mighty way. Oh, God, we thank you for our church family, and we thank you for our extended family, and God, we thank you for our biological family. We just thank you, Jesus. If we had a thousand tongues, we, we could not thank you enough, and we ask you, oh, God, oh, God, continue to have us love one another, oh, God, that you have loved us, and we'll be so careful, God. Hallelujah to give your name the honor and praise and the glory, God, that it rightfully deserves. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, it's in your name, oh God, that we pray and ask these things. Hallelujah. Let every disciple, hallelujah, say amen this morning. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, I hear that prayer. The Lord heard that prayer. I even heard the Lord say, let everything that have breath, come on, y'all, let everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. If you're able to inhale and exhale this morning, you ought to give God some praise. Amen. Let everything, hey, hallelujah, cattle, fowl, everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Amen. He's worthy of our praise. I mean, you know, when the praises go up, Blessings, amen. When praises go up, God changes the atmosphere. When the praises go up, the power, the glory of the Lord will fill the temple. Amen. I'm not talking about a physical temple, but we need his glory to fill our temple. Amen. Amen. We need a transformation to come complete. 
Thank you, Jesus. When the praises go up, let everything, amen. You ought to shake somebody in your house that don't know the Lord and say, wake up and tell the Lord, thank you. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Amen. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. God bless you. Hey, somebody need to receive that this morning. If you got breath in your lungs, amen, you ought to give God some praise. Amen. Amen. He's better to us than we are to ourselves. Give him the praise. Praise him. Praise him. Have mercy, Lord. Brother Campbell, come and lift us up. Come and lift our spirits through song. God bless you. Don't let this world mislead you. Don't you ever go astray. Trust in God's word and believe him, because it'll never pass away. We'll see him in his glory, riding on the clouds of joy, greeting us with open arms and peace forevermore. And I know that everything is going to be all right. He's coming back like he said he would and yeah yeah it's gonna be all right he's coming back for the true and good uh, now when the sky is dark in and there will be no moon light we'll know the time has finally come he'll change the wrong to right so if you always searching trying to find the bottom line uh, Give your love to God and he'll give you peace of mind. And I know that everything is going to be all right. He's coming back like he said he would. And yeah, yeah, it's going to be all right. He's coming back. Yeah. Come on, play a little song for us, Mayfield. <laughs> And I want to be ready. I've got to be ready. I want to be ready. I've got to be ready. Ready for the peace. Joy and happiness, cause he's coming back just like he said he would. If peace, love, and happiness, he's coming back for the pure and good. <laughs> You know he's the beginning and you know he is the end and there is no one better when you really need a friend so don't you ever worry cuz he made a guarantee he return to take us home and fulfill the prophecy. And I know that everything is going to be all right. He's coming back like he said he would. And yeah, yeah, it's going to be all right. He's coming back for the true and good. Amen. God bless you, brother. Thank you for that. Amen. That just makes our hearts and minds ready to know that he's coming back like he said he would. Just like he said it, he's coming back again. And the sad part about that is people don't, people are living 
in, in going about doing as if he's not coming back. Amen. It doesn't matter whether you're walking here or in the grave. He's still coming back. The scripture said the Lord himself shall discern, descend from heaven with a shout. Voice of archangel, trump of God, voice of archangel. And the dead in Christ, when he comes, will rise first. And we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet them in the air. Amen. And so he, we live now that we can go back with him. He's coming back just like he said he would. Thank you, Brother Campbell. Thank you, our sister Harriet. Thank you, Minister Graham, for leading us to this part in our worship experience. We have a few announcements that we wish to share with you. Amen. On this morning, and then we will continue with the word of God. Amen. First of all, before I come with my announcements, uh, the community outreach ministry under the leadership of Sister Kim Cunningham, she would like to have a few announced moments. Uh, uh, give an announcement, make an announcement, and then I'll follow up with my announcement. Sister Cunningham, amen. Feel free to make your announcement. Good morning, good morning. Not to quench the spirit, I uh, give an honor to Pastor Frank Hawkins, to our Minister Graham, our Minister Hayes, our Minister Cooper on Phil today, our Deacon Brian, uh, our Deaconess Rosa Brian. Uh, Deacon MacGyver, uh, Mother's Board, to our trustees, officers, members, family, and those who have joined us today. God has truly been good. He is a great guy. He's an awesome God to me, and I thank him for his mercy that he allows us to see a new day. The Community Outreach Ministry would like to thank all who made this mission possible, uh, all the glory all for the glory of God, and we thank the Infusion Media Group, a community faith based group that serves the community churches and shelters on delivering 100 boxes on yesterday. Though so given to me on Thursday, committee, we made it happen. Special shout out to our brother MacArthur, our trustee Geraldine Lewis, and of course to our sister Brenda K. Foreman for their due diligence in making this service come to fruition. We're truly grateful. We give God all the glory for First Peter 4, 10, is the scripture that we, we go by, and we thank you, Lord, for the glory. I'm sort of filled this morning. God is coming back, church, for a church without blemish. Um, he says, service your community, service your people, the orphans, the widows, those who are in need, and we're truly grateful to stay uh, in Jesus. And I thank you, Pastor, for this platform. But trust in me to have this committee. I have a great group, a great team, and their due diligence, and they're faithful to God and for his work. And we continue to bless Greater Central as we continue to go forward as he gives us the, the, do, the duties to do his work. We thank you all in Jesus' name and to my church family for their assistance. Amen. I bless you, Sister Cunningham, and to our community outreach ministry on yesterday. Uh, we received, uh, uh, the other day, we received notice, and someone mentioned our name to, uh, to share food in the community. Amen. So it was last minute, handed to uh, our outreach ministry, and every bag that was put together was a beautiful bag, was able to give to help the community. Amen. If you was in the community, Amen. We bless the community. So we thank you. Our announcements, let us just be mindful that our prayer service uh, will be this Tuesday night at 6.30. Amen. Our prayer service and our Bible study will follow at 7 p.m. Amen. And I pray that uh, all our disciples and all our visitors tune in, amen, to our prayer and Bible study. Amen. We need prayer. And we need the word of God. Those are the two weapons, amen, of several weapons that we fight with, amen. Because you have to stand up against the wiles of the devil. And if you know some other weapon you can use besides prayer, praise, and the word, please hit star six and let me know, amen. Let us know, amen. I'm talking about spiritual warfare. I ain't talking about, you know, no armor, amen. We're talking about powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why we pray. Amen. That's why we put on the whole armor 
Amen. But if you know a better way, feel free to hit star six. And we'll wait on you. Amen. We only going by the prescribe what has been prescribed for us. Amen. God bless you. And we were in Psalms 51 last week. And I pray that that has been that study has been a blessing. We can really go back. Amen. And look at it again, if you ask me, because there's still some meat on the bone. You know, we were just looking at David's uh, predicament. Amen. How he was exposed. Amen. To his unrighteous way. Even God's own servant, the man after God's heart. Amen. God had to check him. Amen. Amen. But the thing that we love about David, we saw his humanity side, he, he, but we also recognized that he was on divine assignment for the Lord. Amen. And so, you know, uh, David was quickly to humble himself, quickly to repent, quick to confess and ask God to, you know, make him over. Amen. To create with him a clean heart and renew the right spirit. Then he petitioned God, Lord, I know that you can take away a lot of things from me. Well, Lord, whatever you do, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. You know, he asked God, if you do these things, then he will show transgressors their wrongful ways. And amen. He would sing praises unto the Lord. He would even offer himself as a living sacrifice because, he you know, God don't delight in burnt offerings. Amen. You know, you can pay all your tithes all you want. Amen. But if your heart ain't right. Amen. Come on now. So God, he asked God to work on him and God did it. Amen. God, amen. Uh, didn't slay David for his sin. Amen. But, you know, David had trouble. Amen. He didn't. But the consequences, that's another thing about it. We may. Our sins may be forgiven, but the consequences are still on you. Amen. Come on now. That's another discussion. But we thank God for a frame that we can follow when we look at uh, Psalm 51. Amen. We all have sinned. We all have come short. But there is a remedy, amen, that we can follow. Amen. In the word of God. Thank you. And we look into Psalm 52 this week. Even on yesterday, we thank God for our church school every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. We were able to fill in on yesterday for our mother, Austin, and we able to discuss, amen, uh, the, the prophet Ezekiel. He was preaching to the exiles, amen, uh, taken from Ezekiel chapter 18, amen. If you wasn't there, I, I encourage you to just open up the Bible, amen, open up your book, amen, and, 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 and study it because you'll find yourself in that scripture amen uh god let it be known that all souls belongs to him amen and the soul that sinneth it shall die amen if you don't repent of your sin amen you know the children of israel at that time while they was in as an exile they want to use the proverb that old proverb our, our fathers did eat sour grapes that's why i was keep a set on edge but the prophet ezekiel said that prophet that proverb is no longer <laughs> usable by you. You know, you have to give an account for what you do. Amen. Don't you can't go on what your daddy did and what your mama did. Amen. You know, even as I was looking after we studied, I thought about that uh, phrase we heard that every tub has to stand on its own bottom. That's all I want to say. Every tub stands on its own bottom. So that's what he said. You have to give an account personally. For what you do and aren't you glad that god don't get our sins can fix mixed up with somebody else's sins or our shortcomings with our fathers and amen amen thank god that he if we repent and look to him renew our hearts and renew our spirits god will do a new thing in our life so we thank god that oh god he's still working on us we're still a, in progress but we recognize that we have to give an account amen that sermon that lesson is about accountability. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for the lesson on yesterday. Let's keep our sick and shut in in prayer. Uh, they need our prayer. Our sister, mother, Ali Reed, the ushers, amen, need our prayer. Sister Thelma Askew, Sister Julia Hawkins, need our prayer. Our mother's ministry, we have some in, at the nursing home. Amen. Our sister, mother, Lavinia Brown. Our mother, Lise Cook, they're in the nursing home. A lot of time visitations have been restricted. We can't get there like we desire. Amen. Uh, some are at home. Mother Elizabeth Wright, Lonnie Pickney. Amen. Hester Moy. 
Amen. Many of them at home. Amen. Mother Callie Knight. Amen. Just to name it. But we thank God for Mother Lily Saunders and Mother Sally Gaddy. Amen. They still able to press their way. God bless you. Our mother, Naomi Austin. We praying for your mother. Amen. You know, she's our instructor, one of our teachers. And when God is able to use her, she said she's ready. Amen. We're going to use her. Amen. She's able still. Amen. To be used by the Lord. Let's keep our brother Hannibal Green in prayer. Amen. Deacon Aaron Green in prayer. Amen. Let's just keep it. Was there time now, Sister Geneva Williams and Nurse Naomi? Amen. We haven't forgotten. God is going to revive the fellowship. Amen. God bless you. And then I want to make this announcement. Uh, amen. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Amen. I'm going to make an announcement. Amen. On this past Friday, uh, May 21st, approximately about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, uh, the pastor, deacons, and all trustees, along with the COVID-19 committee, uh, we came together to meet uh, for the consideration of opening the sanctuary, amen, and to return uh, back to the sanctuary for public worship, amen. We heard a report uh, given by our COVID-19 committee uh, given by the COVID-19 committee chair, person, Minister Patricia Graham, who uh, have done, that her and the committee have done a marvelous job through this past uh, year and few months of uh, sharing uh, information, you know, from the CDC and from the city, from the state, amen, from the federal government, and pass it along to us, amen. So after hearing a thorough report, uh, and based on their recommendation, uh, that on the first Sunday in June, amen, which is June the 6th, amen, at 10 a.m., amen, we will, with the aid of the Holy Spirit, amen, because we can't do nothing without God, amen. I still believe within that song, without God, I can do nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be rugged like a ship without a sail. Amen. So we recommend it on the first Sunday in June that we return to public worship at 10 a.m. Amen. Greater Central, the doors of Greater Central. We ought to praise God for that. Amen. We're going to open up the doors. Amen. And ask all our disciples, all the members, amen, friends. Amen. Let's come back to, amen, public worship. Amen. On the first Sunday in June. Amen. If you can hop, get there. If you can walk, Get there. If you got to get on the bicycle, get there. Amen. By bus, plane, train, or automobile, get there so that we can worship the Lord. It's been a long time coming. Amen. But I know our change has come, will come. And so we come there with guidelines. Amen. Uh, we want to start at 10 a.m. and we're going to run 10 a.m. throughout. Amen. June, July, and August. Amen. And then in September, we'll try to go back to our normal schedule, amen? But we come with guidelines, amen? We come with guidelines. It's not business as usual. We know that we have to be use preventive measures, amen? We're still, we're not out totally out of the storm, but we're better off than when we were last year. And we give God praise, amen? And so when we return, I'm going to be making these announcements uh, on Tuesday night. Uh, we're going to be making public announcements on the telephone of uh, what's going to be required, amen, when we return to worship. Amen. Uh, all accessible entries to the sanctuary will be from the front doors of Fifth Avenue and the side ramp. When we return, you know, this is a, the church building is a public place, uh, a, a, a public entity. So we're not asking you to do nothing that you wouldn't normally do if you're going to any other public place. You go to the courthouse, you go, amen, to restaurants. If you want to go in, you have to comply, amen, amen, if you want to go in. So these measures are in place. Your temperatures will be taken before entering. Uh, we will ask all visitors and aides to sign the sign-in sheet with your name, amen, and phone number for contact tracing, amen. Uh, there will be social distancing within our sanctuary every other row amen amen uh masks is still asked to be worn amen even if you're vaccinated amen and then we have some markers on the floor 
Amen. We are going to have a, a nice order of worship, something similar to what we have in place now with an addition of one or two other things. We just really want to enter to worship. Amen. Amen. We just want to get that worship in. A lot of things that we have been doing, we found out through this uh, pandemic, a lot of things that we have been doing is, ain't really essential after all. Amen. And so some form of abbreviated, ser abbreviated service, worship, but then we can go out and depart. Amen. Even in our exit, it has to be done decently and in order. So this coming Tuesday night and throughout the week, we're going to make these announcements as, as far as June 6th, the first Sunday in June. Amen. And then I want to let you know uh, on that Thursday, June the 3rd and Friday, if need be, our sanctuary will have a professional cleaning. Amen. We paid for that. We put a deposit on it by Service Masters, the Master Service, Service Masters Company in uh, uh, White Plains. They're going to come there and under contract from the, the roof, amen, the top, the top floor down to the lower fellowship hall will be professionally sanitized, amen. The, every row, every railing, amen, uh, every chair, amen, everything that we come in contact with will be professionally sanitized, amen. We even bought a, uh, had installed a new sanitizing system in our air conditioning system amen we that we have invested in that so we say we're doing our best and we're doing our part to make uh matters best and comfortable and safe for all our parishioners and our visitors amen so we ask that you would just comply and work along with it but just put the word out in the atmosphere that we're coming back amen amen we're coming back and we're not coming back the same but we're coming back stronger we're coming back better and then the Lord placed it in my spirit, amen, to share with the disciples, amen. It's one thing for us to come back physically, but you know, we have to get in tune spiritually. Can I get a witness? Amen. You are not come back with that same attitude. You are not come back with that same mindset. Amen. Amen. If you're going to do that, amen, I pray, I would say, really, you stay out there a little longer. Amen. You carry out there a little longer. But we asking us, let's get spiritual fit. Amen. Let's get spiritual fit to come back to return to the sanctuary. Amen. So uh, beginning on next Monday, the May 31st through Friday, June the 4th. Amen. I'm going to ask every disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ and every disciple of the Lord that that be a week of sanctification, setting aside ourselves. Amen. For fasting and prayer. Amen. For fasting and prayer. Amen. From 12 noon to 7 p.m., let's turn down a pl our plate and call on the name of the Lord. And then at 7 p.m., amen, we're going to go into prayer uh, at each night at 7 p.m. We'll be led by various ministries throughout the church. We're going to fast from 7, 12 noon to 7 p.m. And then on at 7 p.m., amen, that Monday night, amen, we're going to lead in prayer. I believe on Monday night I have a list. It's the pastor and the ministerial staff will, amen, lead in prayer that night. And then on Tuesday, the deacon, deaconess, trustee, missionaries ministry will lead us in prayer at 7 p.m. On Wednesday night, if you belong to any part of the choir, amen, the choirs, amen, are going to lead us in prayer. Amen. If you're a member of the choir, amen, amen, you need God to work on you and through you. Amen. Lead us in prayer. Amen. And then on Thursday, amen, we're going to ask our uh, ushers ministry and our Christian education department at 7 p.m. Amen. To lead and petition God. And there's a thing, list of things that we're going to uh, announce that what we're going to be praying for God to do. Amen. On Friday, our youth department and all our auxiliaries, amen, will come together and lead us in prayer. Amen. Our youth department. Amen. Our auxiliary, brotherhood, volunteer, fruit of the spirit, woman of worship. Amen. Uh, the hospitality. Amen. Amen. Even our uh, our clerks. Amen. Going to be in tune with the offices on Tuesday night. So we need to just come together. What we're going to ask God to do. We're going to ask. First of all, we're going to give God some praise in our prayer. Amen. And then we're going to. Uh, uh, commit ourselves for service, amen, in our prayer. 
then we're going to ask God, amen, to, 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 to restore us, amen. We have lost some things, amen, to revive us, amen, to renew our faith, amen, in our prayer. And then we're going to give God glory, amen. Psalms 50, verses 15, 14 and 50 is our highlighted text. We're going to make our vow unto the Lord, amen. And he said, when a time of trouble call on me, that's what we're doing. Amen. So Psalms 50 verses 14 and 50 is our theme scripture. God bless you. Amen. We're going to highlight more information in times to come, but we can rejoice. We want to thank our church anniversary committee. Amen. For a job well done as we celebrated our church 88th anniversary. Thank you, Sister Wynn and your entire committee. Thank uh, Pastor Hayes from Memphis, Tennessee for the inspiring word. Amen. Can we live after this? Can the church yeah, these bones can live. Thank you, brother. Our uh, brother Hayes. Amen. Thank you, committee. 88 years. We're sailing on our way to 89. Amen. God bless you. Happy birthday. Shout out. Uh, coming this week, Sister Darlene Harris, May 23rd. Amen. And on May 25th, happy birthday to our superintendent of Sunday school, Sister Catherine Hill. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This past week, as we said, we celebrated the birthday on Friday of our chairman, Deacon Frank Bryant. Amen. God has been kind and blessing him. Amen. Also, our brother Wayne Scott. Amen. He celebrated the birthday on the 21st. Our brother Horace Young on the 22nd. Amen. God bless you, brethren. Amen. I can rejoice. Uh, my little grandson, my only grandchild on May 19th, that was Wednesday. Little Makai, amen. He made one years old, amen. So God bless you and heaven smile upon you. I'm ready for the word, amen. I've done enough talking, amen. Uh, Sister May, will you come and bless our hearts? And I'm going to come back and share with you what thus saith the Lord. Sister May. Jesus said, if you lean on me, Jesus said, if you lean on me, your hands are Jesus said, if you lean on me, I won't let you fall, let you fall, no, you lean on me. I won't wear your burdens if you lean on me. I'll bear your burden if you lean on me. I won't bear your burden if you lean on me. I'll let you fall, on me. I won't let you fall, on me. Jesus said, if you lean on me, Jesus said, if you lean on me. Jesus said, God bless you this day. Jesus said, you can lean on me. I won't let you fall. You can lean on me. Let us look to the Lord. Amen. Our Father and our God, we ask that you would guide us, O thou great Jehovah. We're pilgrims through this barren land. We are weak, but thou art mighty. Hold us with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. Oh God, we've been our help in ages past and our hope for years to come. Continue to be a shelter from a stormy blast and our eternal, even now, oh God, as we come to share the broken bread of Christ, the bread of life, oh God, we thank you, oh God. Feed us till we want no more. Use us once again for your glory. Create within me a clean heart and renew the right spirit, oh God. Oh God, draw me nearer unto you, oh God, even now as the soul will go forth the soul. Let your word, which is the seed, fall on good ground that it will become fruitful in the life of your people. Bless, O oh God, your people, O oh God, the hearers of your word. 
open up, O oh God, that we may receive what thus saith the Lord in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you this morning. Amen. I'm happy to be able to share with you what thus saith the Lord. Amen. We're going to draw your attention. Amen. From two portions of scripture, uh, the gospel of of Jesus Christ according to Luke chapter 24 and verse 49 Luke 24 and 49 one verse there and then we want to move over to Acts the Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verses 4 through 8 so we first want to look at Luke 24 and verse 49 one verse and then we want to go to the Acts book of Acts chapter 1 Verses 4 through 8. Luke, reading uh, from chapter 24 and verse 49, says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endowed or endured with power from on high. Come on, somebody need to hear that again. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Amen. And then Acts chapter 1, verses uh, 4 through 8, simply read. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father has put in his own power. Amen. Verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen. Thus ends the reading of the word of God. Amen. I want to talk about just for a few moments, amen, amen, waiting on the promise, waiting on the promise. Brothers and sisters, the word promise is defined as a declaration that one would do something specified. Uh, it's defined as a, it's a legal binding declaration that gives the person to whom it's made a right to expect or to claim the performance of a specified act and when you make a promise amen uh, uh a promise is a reason to expect something uh and last but not least see, least uh, a promise is a pledge to do uh or provide or to bring about amen many people in our lives have made promises to us uh with the aim or goal in mind to keep them but sometimes because of life difficulties and life uncertainties, they weren't able to keep them. Ain't that right? Husbands and wives have made promises in forms of vows. Ain't that right? Uh, uh, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to death us do part. Uh, Parents have made promises to their children, amen, and for the most part, we aim to satisfy or keep our word, ain't that right? Employers have made promises to their employees. Um, promises, brothers and sisters, are given with expectations to be filled. Uh, and I use that word, I utilize that word expectation uh, because it's the process of waiting to see the, spoke, the spoken promise come to fruition. Ain't that right? When someone make a promise, amen, it's spoken, but we have to do our part and have the expectation to wait and to receive 
that which they said, see it come to pass. Uh, but there is one thing for sure, even when man may let you down and when man may not fulfill his promises, there is somebody that we know uh, that sits high, but yet looks down low. Uh, we have a God, amen, because uh, we are believers and followers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we have a God that he will always keep his promise. Amen. Our God is a promise and he's a covenant keeper. Uh, thank you, Sister Sister Harriet, when you read that scripture this morning. Amen. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Amen. But I want to let you know, Isaiah uh, 55 and 11, God says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me, boy, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and, and it shall prosper in the thing wherein to I send it. Amen. God, amen, will never go back on his word. Amen. If you don't believe me, come in, Noah. Uh, God, Noah, know God as a covenant keeper. Uh, in Genesis chapter 9 and verses 8 through 15, God spoke unto Noah and to his son, the saying, And behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you, and, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowls of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant that which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for the perpetual generations. I'm, I do set my bow in the cloud and shall be a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Um, uh, Abraham knows something about uh, God's covenant. Um, because the Lord spoke to Abraham um, in Genesis chapter 12. And he said, and the Lord said unto Abraham, uh, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and, and from thy father's house um, unto a land that I will show thee. Um, and God said, I will make thee a great nation. Um, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. Um, and I and thou shalt be a blessing. And in verse 3, he said, I will bless them that bless thee. And uh, 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 and I will curse him that curses thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth um, be blessed. Um, and aren't you glad that you're able to receive um, the blessings of Abraham today? God keeps his promises. Um, come here, Joshua. What you know about God keeping your promises? Um, well, the Lord told Joshua in uh, Old One and Five that. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Um, he said, as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. And then Jesus said uh, and gave us a great promise keeper. And when he said in uh, Matthew 28, the B clause of verse 20, he said, and lo, I'm with you always. Um, even unto the end of the earth. Um, the promise in our text, brothers and sisters, is that Jesus is revealing um, is the promise from the Father of being endowed um, or endured with power from on high, um, the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, the prophet Joel um, uh, talked about that power um, in Joel 2, 28. Um, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh um, and uh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams um, and your young men shall see visions um, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. Um, in those days will I pour out my spirit. John the Baptist, he knew something about the promise um, when he declared uh, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, um, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I who choose. Um, I'm not even worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with 
fire. And then Jesus even declared in verse 5, um, for John truly baptized with water, um, but ye shall be baptized um, with the Holy Ghost. Um, not many days hence. Um, brothers and sisters, in the background of our text, um, we see our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He's in his post-resurrection form. Um, have mercy, Lord. Um, he have already gone through uh, uh, being, he had be, already been um, dragged from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Um, you see him in post resurrection form um, after he had been convicted for a crime he never committed. Um, post resurrected form, meaning that he's already heard the crowd say, Give us Barabbas um, and crucify Jesus after they had hung him high and stretched him wide. Um, Post-resurrection form. Um, can I get a witness? Um, after Jesus um, uh, heard the last seven last sayings from the cross, um, he heard them say, we heard them say, for Father, forgive them, um, for they know not what they do. Um, they heard them say on the cross, um, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Um, they heard them say on the cross, um, it is finished. Um, we heard them say, Mother, behold thy son. Um, son, behold thy mother. After this, um, after uh, uh, he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder um, and gave up the ghost. Um, it was after his resurrection, uh, after uh, Joseph of Arimathea claimed the body of Jesus, laying him in a borrowed tomb. It was after early on the third day morning um, that Jesus arose from the grave declaring that all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. After um, Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary telling the disciples um, to go, go tell my disciples to meet me in Galilee. It was after all these things, um, it was a period of 40 days um, that Jesus ministered to his disciples um, before his ascension uh, uh, for him going back up to heaven to sit at the right hand of the Father. Uh, it was these 40 days um, Jesus appeared and he talked with his disciples. Um, he had to talk with them to strengthen their faith. Um, he talked with them to clear up any remaining questions. He talked with them to give them a measure and portion of the Holy Spirit to enlighten them according to the scriptures. Um, in other words, then he opened their understanding that he might that they might understand the scriptures. Um, but last but not least, um, after this, Jesus gave them clear and final instructions. Um, because it's in verse 49, uh, chapter 24, that Jesus instructs his disciples with these words. Um, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem uh, until ye be endowed with power from on high. Um, and brothers and sisters, I won't be long with you today. Um, but he said, he, I want you to be endowed with power. Um, uh, this power that I'm talking about this morning, it doesn't come from Con Edison. Um, this power I'm talking about doesn't come from GE, General Electric. Um, Orange and Rockland ain't got nothing to do with this power. Spectrum and the internet can't touch this power. This power doesn't come from any form of military or political forces. This power I'm talking about, there ain't no family name or person of influence attached to this power. This power, you can't get this power working out at the spa or the, the physical exercise. Uh, you can go to blink all you want, um, but you can't get this power. You can go to Planet Fitness and Crunch um, and Jack LaLanne, um, but you can't get this power. This power I'm talking about comes from God on high. It comes down from heaven. And, and as I soon take my seat, brothers and sisters, and bid you farewell, um, in waiting on the promise, um, I see three C's um, that Jesus reveals to his disciples um, in Acts chapter 1, um, 
4 through 8 of our text. And the first C that I see, um, Jesus commands them um, to wait. Um, he, the first C is commanded. Um, he commanded them to wait um, and being assembled together with them. Um, and brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but I want the Lord with me. Um, every step of the way, walk with me, uh, talk with me, with two or three, uh, come together and touch and agree in my name. There will I be in the midst. Um, uh, Mark said, and the Lord working with them. Um, he was assembled together with them. He commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which ye have heard of me. Um, brothers and sisters, um, I've discovered uh, in my few years uh, of Christian service, um, I've discovered, brothers and sisters, um, that you, you can't hurry God. Um, can I get a witness? Um, he may not come when you want him, um, but God, whenever he shows up, um, he's on time. You can't hurry God. You just have to learn to wait. Um, can I get a witness? It was a period uh, after Jesus' ascension. Um, it was a period of 10 days. Um, have mercy, Lord, from Jesus' ascension to the day of Pentecost um, that the disciples waited. Have the mercy in the upper room. Um, and one thing about serving the Lord, um, you don't know when God is going to move. Um, you don't know how God is going to move. Um, but one thing for sure that you know that God will move um, on behalf of his children. Um, we need God's timing um, and power to be effective in ministry. Brothers and sisters, the blessings um, from God come from being obedient um, to his word. Um, wait in Jerusalem, that capital city. Wait in Jerusalem, that holy city. Wait in Jerusalem, the real head, head, Holy Ghost headquarters. Um, I don't care what you may hear. I don't care what you may encounter. I don't care how you feel, but Jesus commanded them um, to wait. Um, I still hear Isaiah saying, but they that wait upon the Lord um, shall renew their strength. Um, they shall mount up um, with wings of an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I still hear David say, wait on the Lord um, and be of good courage um, and he shall um, strengthen thy heart. Um, it's something about waiting. Um, have mercy, Lord. Even Romans um, 12 said, he that have a gift in ministry, you ought to wait um, on your ministry. Can I get a witness? Um, and when God moves, um, he'll move right at the right time um, in your life. Um, aren't you glad that you waited? Um, uh, mercy, Lord. Um, and God is using you in a mighty way. He's never late. Um, he's always on time. And the second C that I see, um, brothers and sisters, not only did Jesus command them to wait, but he commissioned them. Um, he commissioned them um, to be witnesses. Um, ah, and ye shall be witnesses um, unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea and in Samaria, uh, to the uttermost part of the earth. Brothers and sisters, this commission by Jesus um, is just reiterating them. Um, and reinforcing the great commission spoken in St. Matthew 28 and 19 and 20. Um, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, um, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, um, and teaching them to observe all things um, whatsoever I have commanded. And mercy, Lord, their commission to go, um, go and be witnesses. Um, Witnessing brothers and sisters um, is not you is not is, is not showing them what you can do for God, um, but real witnessing is showing and telling others um, what God has done for you. Um, can I get a witness? That's what a witness is. Um, when God has picked you up um, and turned you around, you go and tell somebody else. Um, there ain't no secret to, to what God can do. Um, what He have done for others. He'll do for you. You go out and tell somebody that God is real. He's real in my soul. 
God is a keeper. God is a healer. He brought me out. Um, all right. Um, he brought me out. Share the gospel. Amen. And aren't you glad? And I want to make this point as I shared and reiterate again. Witnessing is not showing what God can do for you. Amen. It's showing and telling what God has done for you. It's not you showing, but it's God showing. When you look at the man that was released with the demons, amen, he wanted to follow Jesus. But Jesus said, no, you go and tell your family and tell your friends what great things the Lord has done. Amen. And so we're commissioned to go. Uh, we're commissioned to go to the uttermost part of the world. Amen. He told him to go first to Jerusalem and to all Judea. In other words, go to the Jew first. Amen. You're going to have a hard time just convincing your own brothers. Uh, then he said to go to Samaria. These are the mixed Jews. Amen. And witness to them that God is a resurrected Savior. Amen. That Jesus came. Amen. The Lord may have come through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And then go to the uttermost part of the world. And that means to you and our brothers, the gospel is for everybody. Salvation is for everybody. Whosoever will, let them come. Aren't you glad that you heard the word? Faith comes by hearing them, hearing the word of God. And the third C, let me get the third C out before a power go out again. He consecrated them for work consecrated them for work um, but ye shall receive power um, after that the holy ghost has come upon you brothers and sisters um, it's impossible to do any form of ministry for the lord without being filled um, with the power of the holy ghost um, this power this word power um, in the greek is called dunamis um, can i get a witness um, it produces a dynamite power um, Un, un, unseen power. Can I get a witness? Um, this power gives you courage. Um, this power gives you boldness. Um, this power gives you confidence. It gives you insight. Um, it gives you ability and authority. It will bring back to your remembrance um, all things um, that God has said unto you. This power makes you a power of attorney to act on behalf of um, of the lord jesus christ and to go and feed the hungry to give drink to those of thirst and this power gives you this authority and gives you power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover this authority this power gives you an opportunity to cast out all forms of demons this power allows you to speak in a new tongue if you lay hands on anything that deadly, it will not harm you. If you drink anything deadly, it won't harm you. You need this power. Have mercy, Lord. And 10 days after Jesus was taken up in a cloud, the Bible says um, 10 days, a total of 50 days, that they was all gathered. Um, hallelujah. And when the day of Pentecost um, was fully come, they were all with one accord um, in one place. Um, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and, and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like of a fire and sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak their tongues and as the spirit gave them utterance and, and i don't know about you i waited on the lord and, and he gave me that power power to live right, power to serve right, power to do right, power to speak right. I've got the power to preach the word in season and out of season. I've got the power to love my enemies. I've got the power to go when you don't feel like going. I've got the power to worship. I've got the power to witness. I've got the power to wait. Have mercy, Lord. Do you have the power, Holy Ghost power? You need the anointing, um, not just on you, but you need the anointing of God to fill you up. Fill my cup, um, fill my cup. Um, I need dunamis power. Can I get a witness? Um, act right power, love right power, give right power. It takes power 
to do the Lord's work. Um, aren't you glad? Um, aren't you glad um, that when he died, um, he got up on the third day, he ascended back to heaven, but God kept his promise. Um, he gave, he kept his promise while you were still in your mother's womb. God kept his promise um, unto you and to me that we able to go up and tell the world that we found a savior and he's sweet, I know. Amen. I waited on the promise and God delivered. Look at your life. Look how you're living now. You're able to do what you do for the Lord only because you got power. Yes, we were baptized in the water, but John said that when Jesus comes, he will baptize you with the fire and with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. You need that power this morning. And the power that was given to those disciples is still in place today. Only thing you have to do is open up your heart, or repent of your sins and for the remission of your sins and open up your heart, have faith in God, and he will give you his power. God keeps his promise. Amen. I want him to use me until he used me up. The songwriter said as we close out, I want to live so that God can use me anywhere, any place. Any time. But in order for God to use you, you have to have power. God bless your heart this morning. Sit on the promise. Amen. And He will give you what you need for the victory. Have mercy, Lord. As we have done our duty yet in still room at the cross. As we and thank you, the invitation to discipleship. Perhaps there's one this morning that don't know the Lord in the pardon of their sins and want to have a personal relationship. Uh, we have enough members in our churches. But God is calling for disciples, amen, followers, students of the Lord Jesus Christ, doers of the word, amen. Perhaps there's one you may come by letter of Christian experience, a candidate for baptism, amen. The only thing you have to do is yield, amen, surrender, amen. And God will do the rest in your life. God is in the changing business, amen, amen. Hit star six and you can come by letter of Christian experience, candidate for baptism. There's still room at the cross. There's room at the cross for you. You may be high, you may be low. Some are rich, others are poor, but know that there's room at the cross for you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Brother Scott. Will you just come and close us out with a word of prayer this morning? Amen. Brother Wayne Scott. Yes, Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Heavenly Father, in the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, we wanna thank you for all of the things that you've done for us, Lord. We wanna thank you for the things that we've heard today, Lord. We wanna thank you, Lord, for reinforcing in us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Lord. Lord, there's so many things to thank you for, Lord. But right now, Lord, we wanna pray, Lord, and, and, and pray and thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us, Father. Father, I pray that you touch us, Lord. Touch each and every member of Greater Central Baptist Church, Lord, and have us do something that's acceptable in your sight each and every day, Lord. Have us touch someone, some type of way, Lord, to help someone, Lord. And, and Father, when we come back to our sanctuary, Lord, please help us to leave the bad habits, the old habits, the old ways, the old attitudes, Lord. Help us to leave that outside the door and come in with a new walk, a new look, Lord. We, we, we want to come in with our minds set on praising you, Lord, and helping one another, Lord. Help us to come in with love, Lord, compassion. Yes, Lord. Lord, continue to bless our pastor, this great man of God that you put in this position to lead us, to teach us, the ways that we should go. Bless him, Lord. Continue to strengthen him and keep him. Bless his ministerial staff. Bless his deacons, his deaconess. And, and again, Lord, bless each and every member of Greater Central Baptist Church. And Lord, don't forget our children, the leaders of our church, the leaders of tomorrow. Lord, pour your blessing out on them and help us, Lord, to help these children, Lord, to help them and be, be of any service to them that we possibly can. And Father, let's not forget our pastor's grandson, little Makai. 
God, we, we pray for him and his mother, Lord. We pray that you strengthen them both, Lord. Give her, the, give her the strength that she needs to raise him in the right way. Bless her, Lord, Lord, so that she does not get weary. Continue to bless her and strengthen her. Also bless Pastor's mother, his aunts, his daughters, and the rest of his family. Keep them, Lord, as only you can. And Lord, as we leave from this place, but never from your presence, Lord, continue to bless us. Watch over us and guide us. And we will always give your name all the praise and honor and glory that you so rightfully deserve. These are all the blessings I ask, I pray for, and I thank you, Lord, in the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise today. Amen. Thank God for Pentecost. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. The yes. third part of the triune. Amen. Thank God. We worship one God who manifests himself in three ways. God the Father, the Creator, God the Son, the, the Mediator, amen, but God the Holy Spirit, amen, our Comforter and our Guide. And we got the Holy Ghost, amen. With the Holy Ghost, amen, just like our disciples, commissioned to wait, amen, they commanded to wait, amen, commissioned to witness, amen, and consecrated to work. Amen. Commanded to wait, commissioned to, amen, witness, and consecrated to work. Amen. To serve this present age. God bless you. We love you today. Amen. I waited on the Lord. Amen. I called on him. Amen. And it's something about being together. Amen. That's what it's all about. They were together. And, and in that room, it wasn't half filled with the Holy Ghost, but they all were filled. Don't you know when God's people come together? What a time, what a time. God don't do nothing halfway. Amen. He gives 100%. 120 of them was all gathered and they was filled, amen, with the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine when we come together in heart and mind, brothers and sisters, what the Holy Ghost would do in our life? Oh, we are turn that neighborhood upside down, Greater Central. That's what I'm looking for. And in our sermon yesterday, our scripture, our, our text, God said, I'll give you a new heart and a new spirit. Thank you. A new heart and a new spirit. God bless you. Enjoy your day. I love you. And we'll meet you on Tuesday night. Amen. I want a new heart. Created me a new heart, a clean heart, and renew the right spirit. And now unto him who was able to keep you from falling. Present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. So only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Do you got that power this morning? Amen. You ought to praise God that you got power. We love you. Amen. What a word. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Angelus Cooper, God bless you. Minister Hayes, yeah. Thank you, for God. Thank you, my God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Right thing. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, God bless you all. Thank you. 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 Oh God. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. What a mighty God. Amen. 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 I got Jesus. 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 Yes. Yes. I got Jesus. Yes. I got Jesus. Deep in the Hallelujah. God bless you. Wait on the promise. God will come through.
Amen. He will. He will. He will. Come through. Whatever God's I'm a living witness. He will do it. Rest upon He will do it. I'm a living witness. God Almighty. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Is that right, Evangelist Cooper? He'll come through. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Ain't nobody yes. like that. Hallelujah. It's yes. like it will. It will. It will. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A new thing, a new thing. We remember that. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for your wisdom. I'm telling you, he's a wise God. Yeah. He is. God is a wise God. He don't make no mistakes. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Have a good day, everybody. God bless you. Yeah,